We uh, have been privileged to kind of participate in this process and see it unfold over the last several days. It's an amazing tale of teamwork when you think of all the people that have been involved and, and the struggles and challenges that they've overcome. It's, it's actually very exciting. Um, from the federal government, the state government, the county, uh, we've had the good fortune of working with a lot of the county departments here, Child and Youth Services. Um, we've had some assistance from the uh, Catholic, Pittsburgh Catholic Charities. The Red Cross has been on board and helping us get ready for these children to come. So it's a real um, effort, uh, a coordinated effort, and a real sign of how much the people of this region and this state really respond in, in times of crisis. And, and Children's is just happy to play a part in this process. So as Paul mentioned, the kids will be coming. We believe they'll be coming by bus with police escort. There may be some that need ambulance transport. We're not sure about that. It depends on their condition. We hope to get some reports from the plane when they get a little closer to the Pittsburgh airport. Uh, we have um, organized our staff to be ready for many different contingencies. We have additional nursing staff coming in, additional physicians coming in. Uh, we're ready to kind of triage these patients very quickly and take care of them, provide their medical assessment and clearance. And then we've also worked with uh, the various agencies to create a comfort room for them on our campus where we'll take them. It'll be private and secure. They can get some sleep. They can change into some clothes. They can relax. There will be volunteers there, as I mentioned, from the Red Cross and Catholic Charities and Children and Youth Services will also be there to start getting them ready for the process of placing them with foster parents in this area. And uh, we're, we're very excited that we have our new campus here to host this, this event. It's, um, it's going to be an interesting few hours, but we're very prepared and ready for their arrival.
Well, we want to say a huge, huge thank you to um, everyone. Yeah, <laughs> Pittsburgh and beyond. I don't know. You know, we don't know everything. Hopefully we'll find out everything that went into it. But I know that people came together for us, complete strangers, people who had never even heard our name. And they came together for these kids, not just for Jamie, but for these children. And it worked because we're here. And it's unbelievable. And we can never, ever say thank you enough. So that's... That's definitely important for us. Yeah. But everyone knows how much we appreciate what everyone does. You walk out of here today, what do you do? These kids are going to be all placed or where they need to be. What's next for you? Well, we're going with them to the Holy Family Institute with the 12 kids. You're going to stay there with them? Yeah, as, as much as we're able to and allowed to, we'll, we'll be there with them until they're home. With, with their individual families. And then what happens, though? We <laughs> have to figure out about all the rest of the kids that are stuck there. Uh, I mean, did you desire to go back and continue yeah. to do what you do? In some way. I mean, what we do is, Over. is finished, essentially, which is really scary. Mm -hmm. But um, we're, we're going to do something. Maybe it'll be bigger and better, and maybe it'll be something less. Something different. Yeah, we don't know. Know. Something different. Different. Young girls give everything up in America and go to Haiti, I guess is the we Selfish. Love Haiti. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. kind of selfish. We're happy there. We love it there. <laughs> That's the thing. It's not it's not a sacrifice because we pref we prefer it the way, you know.